Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. If you guys want to hear about tacos, go to Goo's last video. Mine. Well, mine I mean, died. we just started talking about it. Um, his his hard drive filled up in the last episode. Yeah, so we didn't get all the taco discussion. So, so for Jeff those who watch my video, you got nothing about tacos. <laughs> yes, but uh, so yeah, you brought up that Taco Bell's opening a taco themed hotel and resort. Right. Um, and I think it sounds delicious and wonderful. And you think it will not really be Taco Bell like? It will be more high end, super expensive. I do think so. Which is probably uh, true. I don't know though. That's kind of wouldn't that be weird? Like, what if McDonald's were to open up a resort? Would you think that it'd be catered toward the super expensive? Because it goes completely um, against the image of what you are. It does, but they also have a uh, apparel line. Taco Bell does. Yeah. Is it like just the uniforms you can buy? Um, no. The so, Paraline includes bikinis inspired by sauce packets. Wow. I will tell you back when I used to work at McDonald's back in the day, for some reason there was like one of the cool trends going around for the younger kids in the area was to get like different fast food uniforms from workers and like wear it around. But the ironic thing is my very first McDonald's uniform was pink. Have you ever seen a McDonald's in a like worker in a pink uniform? No, I yep. haven't. Very first one was pink. So I used to have a shit ton of pink McDonald's uniforms until we changed color to I think green and then to red and then to something else. I oh, we went through a lot of colors since I worked there. And so I happens to be working at McDonald's for ten years, but but yep. Hotel and Resort will also reportedly feature a not to miss gift shop which will offer exclusive apparel. There will also be on-site salon, which will offer Taco Bell-inspired nail art and hairstyle options. You didn't believe me. You had to look it up, huh? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Anything else? Did I lose you? Either I'm not working anymore or you're not working. So I'm just going to keep talking. And uh... this is Taco Bell's Fire Festival that isn't a failure, basically. Wow. wow. You just came back out of nowhere saying this is Taco Bell's Fire Festival. Did you not hear anything I was saying? Uh -uh. I, I was like, I don't hear you anymore. Are you here? Clearly, you're not working or I'm not working. <laughs> wow. No, I didn't disconnect at all. Everything was fine for me. I didn't disconnect either. I just... Wow. You, you Thanks, not, Discord. Right. Well, fuck. I just read the whole press release. Nope. Didn't hear anything. This is awful. All right. I'll do it again. Um, no, but this whole <laughs> I thing is... I thought you were just going to go quiet. I'll do it again. <laughs> yeah, just... Silence. Hold on. I'm trying to go back on my phone to get to reload. Um, I think I think this is one part that you had read before. I didn't read this a second ago. From check in to check out, the Bella Taco Bell Hotel and Resort reimagines what a hotel stay can be, unveiling a destination inspired by tacos and fueled by fans. Everything from guest rooms to breakfast and poolside cocktails will be infused with Taco Bell twists, making it a flavor filled getaway of 2019. The hotel and resort will reportedly feature a not-to-miss gift shop, which will offer exclusive apparel. There will also be an on-site salon and that will offer Taco Bell and Spartan nail art and hairstyle options. You still there? I'm still here. Okay. The release continued from a Forever 21 fashion line to weddings at in the Las Vegas flagship cantina. Taco Bell has long been surprising and delighting fans with unexpected ways to celebrate their love for the brand. At The Bell, a Taco Bell hotel and resort, fans will experience something even bigger and bolder from design and entertainment to craveable food and beyond. The global brand officer, Marissa, is, to say, is, is saying this is the biggest expression of Taco Bell lifestyle to date. I'm telling you, this whole thing is 100% geared for rich millennials. Well, so I guess what I don't understand is... They talk about the Taco Bell, like, clothing apparel and stuff, and how they keep doing things to make it fresh and keep with the brand. Have you ever heard of this before? 
No, but I'm not a rich millennial. I I understand that, but you keep up with the trends enough to know if there was a Taco Bell brand going around. I don't think I do keep up with those kind of trends enough. I mean, this is like I didn't I wasn't in the know for like the Fire Festival until it was already like a meme basically. Like we are not those people. We're not keeping up with what the we can spend daddy's credit card on. Yeah. Basically, yeah. I mean, really, we're not keeping up with the Cardassians. It's true. I found another cave, by the way. I hear so much stuff near me, and I'm trying to find it. I hear a witch near me, and I don't. I also hear a witch it. near me. <laughs> Wait, are we? In but this... I'm also trying to find it. Are we in the near the same spots? <laughs> Oh, I need to make some torches. That would be very uncanny if we are. Well, I went like around the back of our island and saw a little cave in the wall. I am at three seventeen negative ten ninety three. Uh, we're I'm at four eighty five. So no, we're like one hundred fifty blocks away. That's not far though. Yeah, definitely not far. I mean, I seriously think I would have heard of a Taco Bell clothing line if it was had any well, this popularity. Is a new, at this all. is not a new. They're they're just adding new things to it, right? And that's why I said I, I I feel like if it had any popularity at all, I would have at least heard about it. I don't think you can afford the five hundred dollars shirt from the Taco Bell taco. Uh, I do, uh, I'm line. so gonna do that next year at the marathon. They're gonna be like, "Who are you wearing?" <laughs> gonna and they're gonna be like, "Taco here. Bell." <laughs> That's who I'm wearing. Let's just show up in a bunch of sauce packets. Be like, "I'm not even inspired by. I just am sauce." And be like, Ryuski. "That's bold." I'll be like, no, that's fire. <laughs> Please. So, the, but that's this, the, the weird... This cave has three Endermen in it, just hanging out together. <laughs> that's the weird thing I wonder, though, is you said it's going to be really expensive. I'd love to know how much these are because it, it goes against the Taco Bell brand, in my opinion, just like it would for McDonald's to open a really expensive resort. I don't think it necessarily goes against the brand. They're they're just memeing here. It's they're they're creating advertising through memes. And I don't think it's working. It is you're not the target audience is the problem. You can't say because you you're not you're not the target. So, I mean, I understand that and all, but like I said, I, I, oh, God, I guess I, I want to say that I really, I guarantee I would have heard about this if it had any popularity, but then at the same time, I think of like James Charles and stuff, millions of subscribers, never heard of the guy before until, you Right. Know, I mean, he's got his own, own brand, his own line of things that people are spending so much money on, but yeah, you I, don't know who, the, no, he, yeah, who he, he is. Absolutely no idea who that dude was. So I guess maybe I am. Like, am I my parents now? Yes, like, you everybody... are out of touch with what the kids are doing. Has that realization one day that they're not the cool kids anymore? Wait a minute, I was never the cool kid. <laughs> uh, I have found the cave with um, just too many mobs, in the entirely too many mobs. You know what's also in that cave? Uh, maybe diamonds. Too many diamonds. Just too oh. many diamonds. This cave that I'm in has ridiculous just drop offs everywhere. I'm getting beat up real good. I mean, I'm about to put out some water that's holding all these enemies at bay here. <laughs> it's probably going to kill me. There are so many enemies that was holding at bay. Oh my god, so many enemies that was holding at bay. Get ready for Bell Hops and Baja Blast. Fire Sauce and Sauce Packet Floaties. Because the Bell Taco Bell Hotel Restore is opening for a limited time in Palm Springs, meant for 18 and older super fans, complete with exclusive Taco Bell menu and plenty of support. Wait, complete Taco Bell menu? You hear that? No, no exclusive Taco Bell menu, oh. complete with exclusive Taco Bell menu. Shit, you can't buy anywhere else because it's too fucking expensive. <laughs> you think it's it's just a resort for their high end food that they couldn't sell at the restaurant? Yeah, nowhere does it actually tell you what this is going to cost. There's no way. 
Uh, do you think it's all part of it, just a meme? It doesn't even exist? No, it's definitely a thing hype? that exists, I think. But I think it's something that's... What the I'll hell was the that? The video. Oh. For the hotel? Yeah. Okay, I didn't really... There wasn't supermodels in it. I wanted it to be filled with supermodels. <laughs> supermodels and jet thing. skis and yeah, a yeah. Pablo Escobar island. <laughs> yep. That would be hilarious no, I, if it I, literally just I, ripped off the Fire Festival's video. It was like Taco <laughs> right, Bell right. Resort. Uh, I mean, cantinas is one of the things that they kept talking about in that stupid thing, and that's one of the first things this talks about. Uh, so, yeah. No, I really do see this as... I, I, it's not going to be a failure like the Fire Festival, but I think it's the same sort of thing. It's are you, thing are you sure Fire Billy, Billy Mitchell's be, not in charge of it? Is, is Billy Mitchell? Was his last name Mitchell? Uh, oh no! Billy Mays Wait. here. Billy May thats Billy Mays, yeah, not Billy Mitchell. <laughs> yeah. No, Billy Mitchell was the guy in the Fire Festival guy, right? Was it? Was it Mitchell? I couldn't remember his last name. But Mitchell. Oh god! Oh god! Right. Oh god! I just cha. A creeper. <laughs> I just cha. I just, I just cha, cha cha. A creeper was getting too close to me, and I backed up, and I was trying to equip a new shield because I had let my shield die. Uh. Got it. Whew. Okay. And, uh, well, so I had to drop it out of my inventory to run away from the creeper, and I dropped it to a point where I couldn't go get it anymore. <laughs> so then I was fighting a skeleton and a creeper without a shield because I let it <laughs> I let it fall to the ground and ran away. But I got it back. I'm good. God, uh, there are so many mobs in this cave I'm in, too. Like, what did we get into with this? I think the problem is we've lit... Lit so much of the world up around us that what remains dark is very dangerous. I hear baby zombies too. Run. I don't have. Oh, I have a crap ton of bows. I just don't have any arrows to go with them. If only we had a skeleton spawner somewhere. Yeah, I've done only 10 arrows myself. I also hear Enderman. I wonder if I'm coming close to where you were at. Oh, this is lit up. The world. I just moved to somewhere that's lit up. Let me come back to where my stuff was at here. Because the Enderman walks up. The Enderman walked upstairs, and it, I didn't continue lighting it up. Uh, no, I don't see you. So hold on. I'm busy There's the three intermen here, though. Oh, God. Ah. I'm doing, like, the inverse water channel this time. Oh, I got a record from a skeleton shooting a zombie. This skeleton has done pissed off everybody. Like, he just doesn't know how to shoot, and he shot every enemy around me instead of me. <laughs> so hard for me to move in this stuff. Is it what? I said, I'm wondering if this lava's up higher. I'm trying to find some lava I'm hearing. This is kind of nerve-wracking. I'm trying to just get to this place. Ugh, where the huh. water's at. Did, did you just get some experience picked up? Uh, possibly. I got a record. I mean, I just killed a bunch of things. Do you hear something? Do you hear me? I couldn't hear it, but um, I turned on subtitles to try to find this lava. Oh. Uh, I'm to a place where it just... I think I'm to the place where you said there was too many enemies. I think I just came to it from a different direction, because I just busted into a place that's wide open. Uh, there's a workbench. Did you drop a workbench around? Uh... It's been a while since I put down a workbench. I might have dropped that workbench. I don't know. I actually think this is where I did drop a workbench to make torches earlier. And you made torches on a workbench? Or uh, no? What did I make? Well, I, I had to put a workbench down for something. I don't remember what it was for. No. So I need to go that way still. Yeah. No. All my cave is open at this point. Um, like I've lit up everything, and I don't see you. So you're not here. What's your X and Y now? I'm at 486, negative 1046. 
I'm at uh, 330 negative uh, 1096. I'm a, I found a really big, like, it's going to go down for a long ways here in the darkness. I just want to find this lava that I can hear now so I can see if the, it's just a lava pocket or if it actually is more cave. Because I'm, I'm at diamond level. I put my name on the uh, the list to get emails whenever the resort opens up registration. So you have to keep us posted and how much it costs, what we can expect. Yeah, yeah. I'm really, I am very curious because I do think it is going to be one of those. Like, if we went there, we would be so out of place. Like, this is like very fit. Uh, um, like, you know, like whenever people stereotype Taco Bell eaters. These are not the people that will be there. But that doesn't even make sense to me. I mean, this is, like I said, this is going to be a place for rich millennials. That This is who this is for. But can't we pretend? Uh-uh. No. <laughs> no, it's just, no. You're just not allowed anymore. It becomes a <laughs> point in your life where you can't even pretend to be a rich millennial. I mean, the thing is, we both are millennials. Uh... <laughs> not we're not the right age. We need but, to be younger for this event. But but we're millennials. We got part we're of it. We're too there. old for this event and we're not rich. Oh god, oh god, creeper, run. Yeah, the rich part, you know. We just gotta invest in more Bitcoin. We'll be fine. Yeah. I could not find this lava and it's frustrating Dude, me. I found so much lava, but there are so many redstones around it. Not a single diamond. And there's still so much like whole nasty cave above me and below me and I hear baby zombies. Lapis. I don't hear lapis. I see lapis. That's about to say, how can you hear the lapis? I mean, it's the it's lapis. Don't you hear lapis? Just dream of lapis. You know, I got lapis in the last episode, and all of a sudden it's telling me, like, hey, look, you got new recipes because you got lapis. You probably got up to, to make a full block now. Oh, I guess I did. God, I hear that stupid baby zombie. And how do we only come across one spawner? Yeah. I'm really afraid I'm gonna question. get knocked into this water or this lava right here. I can't find mine. I don't understand how I can hear it so loud and not be able to find it. Oh my god! I found another water cave. Oh wow! I don't know if it's the same one. Uh, it is not because nothing's like. I don't see anything in it. How's that? It's not. I don't see god, I can. See hear so much stuff though. I see gold in it. Try to look at the walls real quick. See if I, I did a lot of door placements and our other one and this is really weird. Okay, so not there. Okay, there's more enemies still. Okay. Skeleton scares me when I'm going to hover over lava. Yeah, no, you should be afraid. I don't like the lag that's happening because it's making the enemies just stop in their tracks. That is really scary. I keep thinking I'm going to die to a creeper because of lag, basically. I wonder if we're the only people that haven't died yet. I bet Beef hasn't died. Well, everybody who only played that first day hasn't died. That's true. I can't say everybody. A lot of those have probably died too, but... I think we're the only probably regular players that have died. Or is Beef playing regularly? I think so. Yeah. Well, maybe we should... However he dies, you should reinstitute a pull the vintage Beef. 
<laughs> this is the new vintage beef. Where the f is this lava? It's ridiculous, I, I'm game. Si I see lava everywhere because there's lava dripping above me. There's lava down below me. I the wish skeletons I just want to see it at well. this point. I don't even care if it's just a pocket. It's just probably one block, which is why you're struggling to find it. There's water somewhere nearby, too. Let's love this way. Is so Drew diamond? ended up finding diamonds and amethyst in that. They both got the achievement for it. While we've been recording. Good for them. But I wonder if they were... Were they strip mining? Were they... Were they just caving? Are they in our yeah. cave? Did they come back and just unlight the cave up? Mm -hmm. They still are diamond. I'm not going to blame it on beef. He stole our potatoes. He must have stole all the diamonds in here. Probably. That's what I'm going with. Beef and uh, uh, Etho, we'll say. I'm trying to think who else. How many people I can piss off at one time. It is so funny because there's a lot of people in our comments uh, talking about the whole kelp ladder thing. Which, for one, we need to do because I need to understand what, how it works. But uh -huh. there's a couple people in the comments who are like, oh, they're going to be so mad when they find out that this is like this new functionality that you can do, you know, that they don't know about. And that, I respect that comment. And then there's certain people who are like, oh, fuck my life. I can't keep watching these people. How do they not know mechanics like the kelp thing? And I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, geez, apparently it's new. So <laughs> uh, that's great. Love it. I mean, I haven't read patch notes in forever because I like to just kind of see what, what's in the game and not know about it. Like, if I had read the patch notes, whenever we found the underwater cave, I'd have been like, oh, look, hey, cool, there's one of those underwater caves that I read about. Instead, it was like, what the fuck is this? It's like, messed up terrain generation. <laughs> I thought it was on purpose, but I just didn't know, like, I don't know. I didn't know what to expect, honestly. It was pretty wild. I mean, I liked it. it's. Yeah, I remember when you used to. They used to do what the Friday updates, and you always wanted to do an mm -hmm. update video. And I remember the first one that came out with beds, and you made a video, and you were like, "I don't even want to look up. I know beds are in this. I don't even want to know how they're made. I want to figure this out." And you, like, I think you figured it out like pretty quickly, but it's pretty right. common. But like your whole thing was, you weren't going to even read what it was you were just going to do an update on friday as of knowing the concepts of what was in the the updates but like let's figure this shit out i think that's part of the fun of playing the game not knowing what to expect but i mean each their own whatever play style works for you maybe you know what maybe we should have read their release notes because maybe they moved diamonds to higher layers only All right diamonds no longer spawn period you have to get them from like dungeon loot chests <laughs> I am going through cool. like this if, uh, giant lava lake down in the bottom and like one that you normally are like, heck yeah, that's my go-to because this is what's going to show me the diamonds. I have right. covered, made so much lava turn to obsidian and I'm seeing like iron in the walls. <laughs> as long, well, lapis and redstone, so I know I'm in the right spot, but mainly it's like iron. There's not a diamond in sight. I, uh, I found my lava there was no diamond. Was it a single bucket? No, it was a little, little pond of lava. No cave or anything else there. So that's frustrating. Any other exciting things happening in the in the DC area? I mean, robberies? aren't there aren't there always like robberies and stuff happening in the DC area? I mean, anymore directly happening in your no not, not not this not this specific to me we are going to be doing another uh seafood boil this weekend oh yeah and now it's going to be even better like you how big was the court pot that how many quarts was the pot that you got <laughs> <coughs> uh hold on you just keep talking and i'll look it up because it was 80 80 quarts is how many hold on i'm gonna look it up gallons There's one quart in 
quarter gallon, so... Oh, so that would still be bigger. Like, wow. My daughter can sit in it comfortably. I mean... I found a diamond! Congratulations. I see Just it. One. I, see, I don't know. I can't get to it. There's so much lava around it. I don't even know where I'm at anymore. I think it'd be hilarious if you came like walking around the corner right now. Took it. Well, just because like we've been going for that long that we're oh my god, I'm out of inventory space as well. I hear a witch. This witch comes anywhere near me. <laughs> God, I hear her. She sounds like she's right next to me. I don't see her. Are you still looking at... I'm trying to find it on Amazon. In my orders. And I'm not searching for the right thing, obviously. Pot. <laughs> That's what I searched for. You would have thought. I got flower pots and instapots. But no... I wonder, what it, wonder what it could be called. Boiler? Uh, stock pot. Well, pot didn't work, so it's not. It's more than one! Good. 82 core. 82 core is giant. Oh, it's definitely giant. So, Boiler, what... by the way, was the correct word to search for. Eight diamonds. Nice, nice. We can make an enchanting table. That's what this is all about. Making damn enchanting table. If I can ever get out of here, I don't even know where I'm at. Um, try to get back to somewhere reasonable to just dig up. I think was what I'm gonna do. Cause there's so I haven't much... even used it yet. Um, I plan on using it uh, June second as crawfish day at uh, the state farmers market. So I plan on going and getting good old pile of crawfish. And use them in your 82 quart stock pot. Yeah. Uh, so I took a um, a keg that I'm turning into a keggle, and I did part of the conversion so that my plan is to use the keg to do my boil in. So that's a 50 liter pot. Uh huh. And I think I think that's like 10 gallons though. Um. It's what, four quarters 13, gallon? 13 gallons, it says. Um, which means it's still like, you know, only two thirds of the size of yours. So a keg, a giant keg is two thirds of the sizes. Like I said, my daughter can sit comfortably in this pot. Like, I could put the lid on. She's inside of there sitting there without any, any troubles. And do you have the, um, <coughs> excuse me, the outdoor burner for it? Yeah, yeah, it comes with all that. It came with that. Yeah. How much did it cost, the kit? Uh, I don't know. Hold on. Can go back. Let's see. Yeah, 20, 20 and a half gallons is what it is. Um, just did the conversion there. Um, let's see. Come on, Amazon. Don't be a little bit I feel like it was on sale, but maybe not. Well, your order history would tell you exactly what you paid for it. Oh, does it? I think so. Uh, it's not going to tell you, like, this is just what it costs. Well, I mean, in my <coughs> order history, it doesn't say anything about that. It says I ordered it on June 14th. Oh. I can buy it again, but it doesn't say anything about what I paid. That's interesting. Uh, it's currently unavailable. So you can't even tell what it was. Mm hmm. See if it. See, there's one available new for, for two hundred eighty dollars, but I don't think I paid that. And with the whole kit, that's pretty cool. Well, how much? It's got a. Um, it's it's by uh, Bayou Classic is the brand, um, 
And it's also got the strainer, too, that's part of it. And okay. then the base. Um, let's see here. Let me just Google Bayou Classic A2 Quart Pot and see if it's available like on their website or something. Well, I mean, the thing is, on their website, it's going to be more expensive. It was funny. I actually Probably. called uh, Jabra, I believe, is the company. Uh, there's a, a microphone specific for, like, meetings that has, like, the different microphones. You hook it up to a computer, but it's got these different microphones that, like, will turn themselves toward people when they speak. Like, there's multiple different microphones in it. It's, good, it's supposed to be good for, like, conferencing. Yeah. And we're trying to get the fire station set up to be able to do teleconferencing for some of the meetings, there's like 10 to 15 people in the room. So I called this j company, I believe it was a Jabra microphone because somebody guided me to this because it's what they use at their work. And it's the microphone goes for like $499. <laughs> and I called them and I said, you know, we're a, you know, a nonprofit organization. Is there any discounts or anything like that? They would offer for a nonprofit, a volunteer fire department in order to uh, obtain this. And the guy was like, oh yeah, definitely. Like, you know, you can use this discount. I can get you hooked up with it. Um, and he started going through the price of it. And it knocked it down to like $425 or something like that. And I was like, oh, that's interesting because I'm looking at it right now on Amazon brand new for $399. And he literally, <laughs> and he literally said, oh, yeah, Amazon is actually one of our partners. If you can find it cheaper there, go for it. <laughs> and I was like, um, but like, like you're giving me your discount directly from the company is more money than I can buy it from your partner on Amazon. He's like, yeah, it just yeah, works that's... like that sometimes. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I, I don't know why it would ever work like that. I guess because they buy it in such a bulk. That, uh, <coughs> Excuse me. The bulk price is cheaper. But you would think the, Then for the nonprofit the price? Like the nonprofit discount price? Yeah, because they're buying it in bulk. But you would think the company could do better. Like if they can sell it at bulk that price, then they can take a they can sell it for less than what he's offering it for you of and still make a profit. Right. Like I, I was just so confused. It was just like, oh, you're gonna yeah. hook me up with this discount because we're a nonprofit, and the average joke can just go buy it for cheaper from Amazon. Right. Yeah, that's funny. Um, <coughs> excuse me. What was I gonna say? Oh, I found it. It was at one sixty nine. That's a pretty good deal for the whole setup. Yeah. Yeah. It's got everything. You had to buy your propane tank, obviously, but I mean. I got three of those sitting in the backyard. Um, uh, I've, I've made it back. back the here. diamonds are safe. All right. I'm coming up. I'm coming up. I dug my way up and it dumped me into the ocean. <laughs> Are you I'm like just close to up here? I'm, yeah, I'm I'm over here by where you dug down. Dude, I've got a couple of those ladders. Thirty two levels. Wow. <coughs> oh, I only got twenty seven. I guess we have enchanted too, which we both have, so it's not How did we get out up over here though? I don't it's know still missing you're, one ladder. Where you're at anymore. Uh oh, you're in that? You can I you can jump out of that. Oh, yeah, I guess you can. Yeah, I was going to say I just have gone in and out of it multiple times. So I wonder if they did the whole source block thing. Basically, this exists so that uh, it doesn't mess up the oceans and turn them into non-source blocks whenever you break kelp, I guess. Maybe. Uh, uh, maybe. How do they even say to do that? Do you take dried kelp and make kelp blocks out of it? Or is it just planting normal kelp? Yeah, just planting normal kelp. So we just need to go get... Hold on. I guess I want to see what this thing is, what this is all about here. I think oh. if you just take some plain old kelp. We need to get some um, cows on the island. Did well, you we, see we that, that there's a boats? map? Yeah, no. That there's did a map? See there's a map now? Yeah, mm. minecraftmap.com. I did not. That's cool. I I saw that there was the map that showed where everybody was was at. No, is it the, like the whole those... map? It like is based on the seed, so we can cheat and see everything. No, no. it's just uh, it's a rendering of our map that gets rendered once a night, where you can like zoom in. Remember, I used to do that back in the day. Uh, some I do remember something about that. Yes. Yeah, I'm just gonna see. 
So I'm trying to think how we would do... How do you... Can you stand on kelp? How do you plant the kelp to be able to do this? Uh, I don't know. Let's just put it down. It doesn't work, no. Where are you at? Right behind you, right there. I was trying to do it dig in this hole. Just do like three up. Here. Oh, it needs water. But the whole point is we didn't... We weren't going to do water. No, oh, I guess no, the no, bottom no, block no. needs to be water. No, 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 no. Like this, Jeff. Okay. I'll go down in there and plant kelp. And that just turns it into source blocks? Yes. Supposedly. Now, if you break all that kelp, we should have three source blocks. Uh, I guess, how do we... Yeah. That's true. True truth. Oh. Huh. So what they were saying is basically what we just did. We pour it from the very top and then go down to the bottom and... Uh, Plant it all the way up, yeah. and everything guess, would be a source block. Oops. Yes, that would have worked. I don't know why people expected us to know that. Uh, they shouldn't. <laughs> Maybe it's been, it must have been in the game since the water update. But I mean, I probably. I'll, I'll be honest. I, I haven't seen many people make that many. I, I guess mean, I guess we makes water, water, the water all the time. So that's true. That's we never we, needed we that mechanic. Uh, so yeah. But anyways, we're out of time. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.